Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Old World, our Carthaginians and welcome back to the first scenario of our uh, Carthaginian campaign, it's Oxhide and we are settling here the historical area, I think it's called Zugitania in English, in German would say Gitania, uh, let me know if you know it better, uh, anyways and we're here with Zushan the new after our priestess uh, Aristabal passed away pretty young and her son, the actual King Bomilkar is still of age, so Lushan uh, selflessly took over and is at the moment our leader and king. While we shall see if um, the power is going shifting towards uh, Bomilka again. Apart from this last turn, we settled here Oea and uh, yeah, fought the Libyans back, and probably this is the last settlement of the Libyans. So it looks pretty promising that we should be finished with this soon. And yeah, apart from this, we're trying to fulfill these missions and all of them I'm quite, uh, yeah, optimistic for. For shrines, we need, still need to um, research a new technology so we can use them. The 500 stones we can, worst case, quickly buy with our tons of money. The gem miner in 13 years should be possible because we've got the... Um, oh. oh, 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 this is actually critical let's have a because we don't have enough population to get one out i never thought about this but let me see as far as i said this mood should mean in four years population would be some minor nine years and we've got 13 left so still should be possible it should just not waste it for weird projects in the meantime um stay focused and no problem <laughs> all right and the shrines, no problem. Byremes should be able to build when we reset navigation. So in two rounds, it's going to open up an entire new uh, thing possibility since we can also go to here Malta, check out Sicily or Sardinia. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Anyhow, we have zero orders in uh, 660 BCE or turn 40. We have 60 more turns to go, which means let's go and jump right in and see where we're going. All right, the Libyans are attacking back. Ooh, and... They actually killed off one of our um, riders, which is very sad. Uh, and we've got a tax surplus, which is pretty nice. <laughs> Quartadash treasury overflows with gold. Yeah, this competent Armilek, he will go down in history, in our history, as one of the most competent men, I think. However, probably not for long anymore, since he seems to be severely ill. The city's leaders call for immediate funding of key projects. What should they do with these excess funds? Save the gold for later? Definitely not. Spend it on swift couriers. Hmm. I'll give it to our most talented scholars. I'll go with that since, yeah, we want to keep on going here with the research. Very nice. The shoemaker. Not permitted to enter the prominent city courts, King Bomilkar the New and his friends spent the days in the surrounding market with an erudite shoemaker and his group of merchant philosophers, learning the skills of philosophy and debate. While many formal scholars refuse to recognize such teachings, Bomilka seems to have been enriched by these experiences. Oh, he looks like a teenager now. Uh, King Bomilka becomes witty, humble, righteous, or bold, okay? Or a scold for abandoning his formal studies. Oh no, I find this kind of inspiring. Let's do this. And what did he become? Uh, maybe it happens next turn. Talking about it, forgot to tutor him last time, so... The only one available is, at the moment, Melak, so please go for it. Definitely, we want to. He's ill, but I couldn't care less. With a little bit of luck, I mean, we give him all the teaching we can give, since he's going to be the next uh, ruler. Unfortunately, we cannot go for monasticism already, nor... Uh, by the way, because if you guys are wondering why it's so quiet here, and there's no music, uh, it's not that I turned off the music, but a kind of funny, in my opinion, kind of funny little feature that surprises me every single game with Old World, is that you've got to unlock the music here with drama. Before here, in fact, starts the music. There won't be any music, and if there was some in my last recordings, maybe I forcefully started that. This is just a background noise, so yeah, kind of side side note, if you wonder, the music is gonna come once we do drama. Uh, at the moment, uh, I wanna push monasticism first. Okay, but this time we've got Phalanx, Spoked Wheel, the Forestry, uh, available and a free by ream. and to be honest, I will definitely go for the free by ream since we need to build three of them. 
I hope this counts as constructing, but I think it should spawn even here in Kardash and also profit from the uh, artisan. Let's see, we can see if it gets ingenuity. Uh, I would hope so. All right, what else? Oh, what else? I mean, what else? We didn't even really start uh, severely. And there's a couple of things to do. So before we go to this offensive where we've got... Uh, <laughs> we could even hire them, these elite marauders, but I find it a little bit weird that we could do this. Is it? No much commission. I, let me know if you know by chance if this one is just more expensive because we're at war or if it's a more uh, the elite more nomad marauder, if it's a more competent unit. Would be interesting to know. Apart from this, I think we still should be doing fine with these guys. How far can you go? You go here. You can go here, and then you can just... Hang. There you go. Elite or not. You can't stand these three guys. Yeah, and then I think there shouldn't be a lot of... That one lost rider is no problem, because, as I said, Ekbesi can kind of hire him back for 300. Uh, we have tons of money. Let's be honest, let's hire him already back. Uh, we want at least two uh, riders or here the scouting. This is kind of a nice uh, information line. We see there's no big raids incoming right now from the Numidians. Good to know. Uh, all right, and then we can take off these things. We've got a governor for Hipporegius. Yeah, and then let's just take Himilko. He will learn also. And, you know, he's like, once again, for those who don't know Old World, here we've got the family. This is the family of the Bar Kids. So here... <laughs> Why can I use Yasmini? <laughs> to be honest, I'm a little bit confused about this one. She's of the Hanonids. What enables her to do that? I think that he, she's a diplomat and can serve as a governor or ambassador. Maybe then you can do it everywhere. But normally you can only use like generals for the units of the very um, family. Same with the cities as far as I remember. So in this case, Himilko. And then we've got laws to adopt. Colonies are served them. Mm hmm. Can buy ties with money or serve them extra, extra orders. And all cities get this content. Up keeps the money. I feel like just realistically, efficiently speaking, if we want to play the perfect game, which we still have time and I feel very confident of not having no problems with the first scenario. Probably I feel like Surf them would be the smarter choice. However, we are Phoenicians, we are Carthage, and here it costs you extra money per year. I will go with the colonies. It makes more sense for me, and that's why, you know? And we've got the civics. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get it out. You know, also it's good to have the civics added in the laws out. If you have four, you can buy a, uh, build a citadel, which allows you to buy these enigmatic units like... Uh, like um yeah here the elephants but a uh, stronghold not citadels pardon citadels for the, the very for the turreted one for the african elephant we need strongholds however i feel like this scenario probably not that relevant nevertheless um let's see where we want to can eshtamon we wanted to build it here next to the grove right exactly then we are here you guys can you build the garrison, good to see. Then you guys can build these next fisher nets. You guys build the quarry. Building already a hamlet, right? Let's get another quarry. It's I don't have to want to buy so much stone, so let's produce some more. I feel like stone is quite useful in this game, and at some point you would, even if you think you're having such a good production, some suddenly you would rush or fall into a minus at some point if, because also there's upkeep for buildings that's basically uh we're out of order so we're gonna keep on building here next turn in my opinion one of the biggest strength of old world it really scales well and even in the like mid and end game is sometimes you come into resource problems because the upkeep is rising just and it makes it feel for me this is the one of the main advantages towards its competitors where sometimes you start to snowball and things are getting too easier too quickly 
sorry for the excourse or detour let me know what you think if you what yeah let me know your opinion in general about old world and if you play it and if you'd like to see it would be highly interested in that one since it's said in the first video already for me it's still uh, among the top I, I don't know if it's my favorite one right now but it's a super nice forex game i think and yeah it makes a lot of things right where the uh, competitors are not doing it right in my opinion so yeah nice to see Back to the game, actually. Carthalo will do whatever it takes to get what he wants. He's ruthless, all right? Fourth in line. Uh-huh. Duchess Nasma is now only now to be tutored. My second. Oh, I didn't even know he had a brother. Queen Consort Dido is likely to fly into rage if he does not get her own way. A most spoiled person. Spoiled, yeah. Looks a little bit like that. <laughs> We've got a son, Duke Hishmat. Um, the governor, oh, this is gonna be, we need really like a government funeral for him. He was a great man, Amilcar, and he got really, really, really old. It's nice to see. So rest in peace. Um, somebody converted to Carthaginian paganism. We wanted to do this too, so don't forget about this this time. And we've got a new head of the Magonets who likes us. And King Bomilcar became humble. All right, what does this actually mean? Um, and she she can do commerce. Let, let me before we go to the event. Let me have a quick have a look what humble actually means. Uh, plus one plus one. It's a good trade. But also maybe it doesn't really speak like the team. I mean Zushan is also not the most uh, arrogant or ruthless character. Uh, but with this humble man maybe it doesn't even speak. It would speak for like for for a scenario where like his line Zushan would take over. But let's see. Death of a governor. We will do this very soon. And we've got the marriage unbound. Ambassador Ashtarte has made no secret of her affections for you, leading to whispers around the palace as to where your heart truly lies. Worried about the rumors getting out of hand, you got confront Ashtarte in her livings. Desperately, she pleads with you. How long must we wait for to be together, my love? I can't take it anymore. She doesn't love you like I do. Please denounce Queen Consort Dido and we can finally be wet. <laughs> A 42-year-old and I'm... Oh, okay, I'm 38, sorry. <laughs> um, what? Um, no, we just got, I think that was better. I'm sorry, no. Yes, was no indications, but a lot of love and uh, affairs going on here. That's, I didn't know about that. Apparently, the, it's very frugal <laughs> around here. Um, okay. Let's do this first because I talked about it and always forget it. Let's become also, of course, a happy Carthaginian pagan. <laughs> and let's start off with our... Oh, yeah. Now, before we do this, let's have a look at the governor of Carthadasht of Carthage. So here we're at the point. We've got a couple of years more to go for Bomilcar to become the very person... Yeah, and I think the others are not not really suited for this task. Now nah, it's gonna be Susha, and you're gonna go to Carthage, even if it's halfway a little bit of a waste of civics, and we can't afford to put in a new one now in Hadromentum because it costs a hundred. Yeah, Yasmin the Younger is probably gonna be that one. Uh, but yeah, still I want uh, Carthage with a really nice one. That's the most important for me. Let's continue here. Here we wanted to build a hamlet. And over here we built the hamlet already. Another another quarry they suggest to us. Another hamlet? Holy macaroni. Um, then here on this. Ah, oh, you can't go here. Because of him, alright. Then here another one, guys. <laughs> Um, well, we've still got a couple of wood, but at some point if we start building ships, we also need to get uh, lumber mills out, but here it's okay. This is at the coastal area. I don't want lumber mills here. Alrighty, um, you guys, another scouting unit. 
Oh, I totally forgot that I've got. Boom. 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 Wonderful. Oh, Cult of Flame. Scholars at the site of the Libyan's defeat discover shrines, carvings, and statues depicting the worship of fire. They believe that treasures are associated with the Cult of Flame, an ancient tribal religion still practiced by many of our subjects. The cult's icons are sacred to its followers, so we should proceed with caution. Install them in a city to show tolerance. Hmm. Or def deface them and smash them to dust. <laughs> Both ways, the Hanunits are not the biggest fans. Okay. Uh, but Oea, I think we just found it, so there is no, it's no, there's, there's no reason in doing the happiness level. Normally, I'm really eager to keep it low, but this time, no. So, well, Steve faced them and smashed them to dust. All right, and I have a very strong feeling, and actually, I'm quite happy. I was waiting for the artisans now because now I see here is like mines, wood, so. But the net output would have been better here. Whatever. In five uh, five years, we'll settle a new settlement over here. Probably the warriors actually will take back. And it looks very much like that the Libyans have been defeated. This was a kind of easy campaign until they um, subdued to us. So, congratulations, Sushan. Are you doing a tri triumph or something for that? <laughs> um, all right, anyways. Nothing to do this, this turn anymore. We have two orders left, but yeah, we'll sell them and go to the next turn. News arrived from abroad that Pitan the Libyan is dead. Queen Mada now leads the Libyans. Oh, they're not dead. Okay. And Queen Consort Ashtate, our ambassador. Why Queen Consort? Was she? Ah, uh, the former one has died in office. Oh, she was so in love and then she had to die. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, I would love to give you the music, of course, but we've got the the problem that we want the shrines out. We have it as a mission, and we need monasticism. So this is what we're going for. Heresy powers. After careful examination, King Bomilcar the New has devised an ingenious method of reducing piracy along Carthaginian trade routes. However, some of the local tribes rely on casual banditry for survival. Shall we go forward with this new policy, or do we leave well enough alone? Institute the security measures. Takapi against Paris the suppression. 20% plus, okay. Give the barbarians their space. We're definitely gonna suppress them, even though we are humble. Uh, I don't, couldn't care less. And now the Libyans are, I thought, gone. But where are they hanging? Uh, I can't go for it. Maybe there's one more spot, even. I don't know. This might be the reason why I'm not gonna move them this turn further, because we might need them still. And rather continue over here at Hippo Regius. Yeah, come on, get the horses out here. Um, you wait another turn. And we've got our first by Remy. And is she? It's a she. Ingenuity. Okay, wonderful. We've got ingenuity, um, which means. 20% strength, which means basically it doesn't count as a ship. Wonderful. Both things have fulfilled it. The prophecy. So let's do that. And now I want to um, anchor it to basically go to Malta and uh, discover this, this this rune over here. But I'm not very sure about the anchoring mechanics. To allow units to move through water tiles within the naval unit's anchor range. Anchoring takes a full turn complete, so land units cannot move through the tiles until the turn after anchoring. And let's try, let's try it here. I'm not sure if the scout can go over here the next turn, but I don't know what the anchoring range is. I hope at least one. So next turn it's at. Okay. Let's see how where this is leading to. 12 orders left. Quite a lot of them, but yeah, I don't need it right now. What we do need is um, production. Arrow. So... We've got basically forever with the Byrim. So for in for this reason I'm gonna get the ranchers out first. 
and from there on we will see then probably another uh, by Reem, but eight years is long. I should get some training camps out, but I think we didn't research this yet. Hippo Regis. Oh yeah, and here we want to get the miner out, but we need one more turn. or oh, one more turn, perfect. So let's do a council. And then we can do the miner, so we get the gems out here. Perfect. And then we can't do anything, basically. Oh. We have a new, we need a new ambassador. <laughs> but Yasmin is terrible. And we don't have the civic anyways. With this, like, reducing the culture of the city and family option. Yeah, no. Probably we'd rather make her the Hadrumetum governor next term. If we don't find anyone better. The tutor mission of Melak the Merchant has led to an event. Um, the oligarch Pygmalion has died. Idash the Silet has died. Who are those uh, old people? Uh, actually, not that old. People are dying very young here. There must be still this kind of illness or uh, plague going around. And we've got a new head of the Margonid family. Acts of charity. Once a week, Melak brings his young people, pupil to the slums of Quatadasht, where Bomilkar feeds the poorest of the poor. A teacher insists that such a lesson is vital in shaping future leaders. Bomilkar appears to be benefiting from his exposure. Encourage him to support charitable government policies, or suggest that he continue working directly with the poor. Compassionate. So far he's... Humble. Humble philosopher. Oh my god, he turns to such a... Such a heartwarming person. Yeah, he comes, becomes compassionate. Let's do it. Alright, a request for tools. Alette arrives from King Bomilkar in New, describing his classes. Hours spent learning, stimulating debates among peers and tutors, with the nights spent exploring the heavens. At the end of the letter, a postscript reads, If you could spare the money, I would like to buy some tools for the some more advanced aspects of my studies. Shall we indulge his request? And of course we will. Yeah, I'm happy to educate my beloved heir, <laughs> even if it's not just my nephew. Alright. And yeah, there's still only uh, over here for the ambassador post. We still got only um, Yasmin available. And actually, or Melak, but Melak is so no. We will make her the governor of of Hadrumetum. I think maybe we can get rid of her like bad traits, and maybe she will learn something. Let's hope she's definitely better off here than in here. And of course, he needs to be tutored again. And of course, it's gonna be uh, the only one available. It's gonna be Melak, so this is important. And all right, this is where we continue. So let's have a look if we find further Libyans. Uh, not here, apparently. This is no. I, I just ran out of movement. Uh, I don't know where they are right now. So I think this is actually kind of a sign I can move back slowly. I mean, there's no bigger threat right now. Maybe just in case I should hire some more riders over here. Let's do it. Still can afford it. Yeah, uh, because I have four riders, no bigger Numidian force here that really threatens us. We take, we can take our time. And also, we don't need to go for the Numidians right away. And yeah, it worked like that. I can go to Malta. And we find a sacred tomb over, tomb over there. Our expedition approaches an ancient monument. The structure appears to be the tomb of great le great leader. An inscription reads, Hasabi, whoever you may be, I was once king of kings. Scratch me not, therefore this piece of earth that covers my body. Leave the tomb undisturbed. Mm -hmm. There will be no king but me. Destroy it. Let us study their preservation rituals. Yeah, absolutely. We want to push your monasticism and uh, I'm happy to get this extra little extra little research and then over here. Let's finally we see Sicily. And yeah. Oh guys. I just made a stupid mistake. Let's sorry, roll back a little bit. Um, normally, 
I'm not this type of... No. No. Sorry, guys. <laughs> of course, you guys go... Not the workers. All right. And I don't want to undo the stuff and just... Uh, so I'm going to use the ship once again for Sicily over here. And I don't know, maybe at some point... Maybe I should have tried to anchor here to bring them over to discover Sicily. Maybe I'll do this next turn. I wanted to see the coastline first a bit. All right. Um, actually, a couple of orders that we fired out this turn. Um, and yeah, and over here we have so many workers here. Let's continue our worry building. And maybe you guys... Can actually move down because I think Carthage has been already so supplied so nicely. So maybe these guys will help out over here. For the Magonid for the Mag new Magonid city incoming. And then the guys can continue over here. Hippo Regis, um yeah. Perfect timing. This is exactly what I wanted to get. Nine years to go. In four years we are done. Excellent. And yeah, let's go. How this um Bomica 14. All right, let's go to the next turn and see how this develops. King Bomilka has become a carpenter. Ooh, new ships plus 50 XP. That's pretty nice for us, I'd say. Fifteen. And here is some more Libyans. I thought this map is over over here, so apparently there's more stuff to see. Hmm. Well, how, how are we going to take care of these guys? So apparently I need these guys back. But I'm going to heal them. And you guys going to retreat a bit. Would love to heal them actually. Do we have enough? Yeah, come on. Let's do a forced march. So everything costs double the... No, actually not. I don't... No, I'm not gonna do it for uh No forest march please. You gonna guys gonna just stay here and hopefully not be attacked. Um because we need also a couple of the orders. Forced march costs like you know when you when you deplete your um movement points of unit you can spend a hundred uh, military training and you can continue, but every further step will cost you double in the forest march. So this is why I don't wanna blast out all my orders since we have basically four Workers available to do st uh, to do stuff, and yeah, that's why I want to start off with these guys. And the new workers gonna build probably this, yeah, the fisher net. And you can just connect the elephants for the moment. Oh no, actually uh, here the you can already do the pasture. Once the city is built, you're gonna move the new city. I'm gonna move you over here. Then over here, oh, we've built this nice new temple. Let's get the mine out. Over here, um, the hamlet is kind of a nice idea, but where do we want it? Oh, do you want it? Here, where we don't have to cut down trees. And let's increase further our stone production, so in the end we don't need to buy stuff. Buy the next quarry, uh, build the next quarry over here. You guys rest, you guys just chill here. You guys chill here. Or well, actually, before they chill, I can also promote them. Yeah, I just got one, why not? And you guys have to stay here on you guys. Oh! I haven't moved them at all. The anchoring probably needs... Uh, uh, it takes time. Sic discovering Sicily is not priority right now. Okay, let's do... Um, no, actually, I think this is also once again a very good timing since I think the Bowman cars might be taking over soon and I kind of want to leave the moment where of uh, the passing of the power a little bit open so we don't know what's going to happen so sorry for the um 
yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, cliffhanger. And exactly, I hope you still liked it. And let me know what you think, how we should continue. I see us very much on the way of succeeding here. This should be a successful campaign. Hopefully. I mean, we don't know two of the goals yet, but I feel very much prepared for it. Um, whatever happens with the Numidians, we shall see. So, yeah, um, let me know what you think. Leave me a like and a subscription if you haven't yet. It doesn't cost you anything and helps the channel a lot. And apart from this, just see you next time with the, our Carthaginians. Bye, your strategy wolf.